Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are doing the Friday Lego Let's Chat. And this might be the last stream of the weekend because I'm having some issues with Shockbyte, the hosting provider for the Citadel. We got migrated to their new control panel and they botched the migration and now the server is not loading. And from the best I can tell, they rolled us back to 1.20.4 in Minecraft, and uh, we should be on 1.21. And so that's causing all kinds of problems. I have a ticket with their customer service, but that was sent at 10 a.m., and it is now 1 p.m. for me. And uh, I was actually hoping to do a double stream today. I was going to do some Lego, and then we we're going to go back into Minecraft. But unless I hear from them in the next couple of hours, then uh, that's not going to happen. So I will keep everyone informed as to whether or not the stream tomorrow will be going ahead. Let's hope that they get back to me within 24 hours because this is a service I pay for. And um, yeah, a little frustrating, but that's a glimpse behind the scenes as to what it's like running a Minecraft server <clears throat> when you're not running it on your own hardware, I guess. Uh, but that is not what we're doing now. Now is the my own creation design from Grandpa Crafter, which is the West Hill main gate. I'm gonna get a picture of it here. This is the main gate on the Citadel server in my town of West Hill. It was designed in Lego by Grandpa Crafter and sent in as a lovely, lovely gift. We have completed this section. So the East Tower and the gate and the headway is now done. And I think we're starting on the North Tower now. So that is what the pick list suggests. Pick list number eight. And there is no point one, so it's just a straight up pick list. So that's what we're going to start with. Hope everyone's having a good Friday. I hope you're having a better Friday than I am. Now, if I move that there, is that shot? It is. Okay, perfect. So, we're just going to dive right in here. See what other bags are in here. And I saw one of the things we need right away. And that is this. I did make some small adjustments to the music, so let me know if the music is in balance. Is it too loud compared to me? Let me know. Now, are there anything else here that we need? I don't see any white. There is one of these. Three light blue corner pieces. Three of these. Twenty one of those. Oh, that's supposed to go back in there. So, unfortunately, yeah, I'm at the mercy of Shockbyte's customer service. The fact that they haven't gotten back to me at all yet is uh, a problem. And unfortunately, I don't know enough about the back end of the server to be able to completely reset it. And if I completely reset it, there's a chance I would lose all the work that I did yesterday on stream. So, two, six, eight, ten. Twenty 
21. Six of those. We've got eight of these. to some bigger blocks. Eighty three. Holy crap. Assuming that's going to be a good chunk of this. Oh, Blast Jordan, that sucks that your building has turned off the air conditioning. That's no good. I'm assuming they're probably doing that to dial back the, the strain on the, the grid. If you're in a hot climate with a lot of air conditioning going. We have that up here in Canada, but it's the reverse. It's usually people turning on their heat. Heat pumps are a really big popular thing now. But I feel like they're more efficient than other other electricity. Or, I mean, more efficient in using electricity than uh, other heaters. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, that should be 80. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, plus 3. Ah, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, need it, got it. Where are those? Mm -hmm. 
not in there. We need two. That's all of the light blue gray. Maintenance work was the answer, Blast Jordan. Ah, that's inconvenient for sure. <clears throat> so that's all the light blue gray done. Let's get the brown. Reddish brown. One of these. That's it for the regular brown. I guess we'll just do the gray next, why not? Dark bluish gray. Uh, back up to 100% humidity here and my voice is very froggy it's funny once you start doing work on mic for a living whether it's podcasting or streaming you really start to notice how weather and other elements like temperature humidity um, even what you've eaten that day will kind of affect your voice two four six eight ten and thirteen It's just forty five of these. Six, eight, ten.
Something else that I've been dealing with from a technology standpoint is all of these false copyright claims on my old YouTube videos. I'm assuming somebody's just gone back and watching through the archive on the Citadel, on Joel Dog and VODs on YouTube. And um, there's just some copyright songs that are copyright free, but then some other person on YouTube has decided to copyright their video and they've used copyright free music in their video. And so YouTube is like trying to tell me that someone else owns the copyright to this music. It's, it drives me nuts. I don't bother contesting it. I just mute the song because it's usually on a break, but it's really annoying. Two, four, six, eight, ten, one, two, three, four, and five. Three, four, five. <clears throat> got him, got him, got him, and now I just need one of those. All right, that's good. Got that, that, got those, 40 of those, and then I'll do the red brown. These are the ones that look yellow to me. Six. Ten. Good. Have to reorganize a little bit here so I can fit all these red brown pieces up here. Although there's not a ton, so that's good. It's less about the pieces we need and more about the bags we have to dig through. Now, I don't remember if these are red-brown or just regular-brown. Those are red-brown. Just one of these, 
that. I just need two two by sixes. Those are two by eight. Aha. Two, two by sixes. big list. Imagine there's going to be some serious progress. Loki, Loki, welcome back. Uh, this is the front gate. Yes. Yeah, this is the, um, hold on. I'll grab a quick shot of the what hold on yeah the box let's grab the box yeah so it's the front gate of west hill which i think you would have seen the other day soup bowl one subscribe to tier one that's amazing thanks ever so much make sure you connect your discord and your twitch you can join us in the joel duggan discord now that you are a twitch member All right, now starts the process. I guess we'll move this. I think I might try to look for a nice little shotgun mic that I could aim at the table. Like, even just sliding these along, I don't think you can hear this on the mic because the settings for the mic right now are set for me for voice for streaming, even when I'm at the computer. So I, I Technically, I wanted to cut out a lot of the sound that's subtle in the background, but I mean, I know up close you can hear that, but the subtle slide of the pieces along the the vinyl. Although it would be really difficult to figure out how to get a shotgun mic to not pick up my voice, but then pick up the stuff that's happening on the desk. Does anybody in the chat have like audio experience where they would know the kind of mic that I would need for that? Or the kind of settings that a shotgun mic would need in order to pick up the table noises, but then not pick up my voice. I mean, I guess if I picked up both, it would be fine, because then I'd have to eliminate the mic that I'm using now.
Mind Trip Media is gifting a tier one sub to the community. Thanks very much, Mind Trip Media. That went to Roy G Biv SF. Roy, make sure you connect your Discord and your Twitch. Join us in the Joel Duggan Discord. Mind Trip Media, thank you very much. And did I get your 100 bits from a half an hour ago? No, I didn't. Sorry about that. Thanks again for the 100 bits. For all the support across all the things I do, Mind Trip, I really appreciate it. Dan Grice gifting a tier one sub to the community that went out to wash your 10 ton hammer 69 R2. Uh, 10 ton, welcome in and uh, make sure you join the Discord now that you have access. Just Discord and Twitch, connect them up. That is also the first level of a hype train, 75% done. Thanks to Dan. Appreciate you kicking off the hype train, Dan. Uh, you all have another four and a half minutes. If you want to jump in on the hype train, you get an emote from Twitch and a tier one sub, a prime gaming sub, or 100 bits will get you access to that new emote as well as support me and keep me doing cool stuff like this on stream. I'm going to run out of the table. Did I do this wrong? I did this wrong. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and eleven. Ah, I did. Eighty-three. I was like, why is it why is it not lining up the way that I thought it was going to? Good, it all fits. Two minutes left on the hype train. Anytime, says my trip media. Happy to support, appreciate all the streaming and podcasting. Well, thank you. I'm glad that you like it. Ah, Loki, Loki, we are ahead of you. <laughs> we are we are already there. <laughs> you found your people. <laughs> what was this, 45? Yeah. I don't know that I've ever listened to the whole track of this song. One of the things that I was thinking about doing with the Minecraft server down until further notice, um, I was cleaning up 
my single player world folder. Uh, most of it's just like creative worlds for testing uh, data packs and stuff uh, and mods. We're trying to sort out a furniture mod for the server and uh, a couple of redstone farms that I downloaded from, from designers like El Mango and Nembon. But uh, there's an old, old Skyblock world. And I wonder if it would be worth updating the Skyblock world to 1.21 even though the skyblock map isn't 1.21 so i'd have to maybe look to see if this if the skyblock map can be updated and i i don't know if i have do i have to like start over again if i did a 1.21 skyblock because i need to i need to like not miss my streams this weekend The only other game that I've been playing is No Man's Sky, but I don't have that. Well, sorry, I have it on Steam, but I've not been playing that save. I've been playing my um, Xbox version, which I would have access to if I had Game Pass Ultimate, but I downgraded my Xbox Game Pass to console because I was just not streaming from the PC. I think the only thing I was streaming from the PC briefly was Starfield. And Starfield was just unfinished, frustrating, garbage. I shouldn't say garbage, but I, I did not enjoy Starfield. So I don't have anything currently on my Windows install that is worth streaming as far as Game Pass goes. Be careful to leave myself enough room here to actually work. I should probably go the other direction. The dirty piece. I managed to keep it pretty straight across the top. He says as it starts to go crooked. Make a screw gun. Subscribing 40 months, the big four zero. May have mentally checked out of work already. Have I come to the right place? Yep. Unless you've come to escape technical frustrations, because then you're in the wrong place. Dan Grice is agreeing that Starfield was a hot mess. Well, I'm glad I'm not alone. I just can't believe that, you know, a game like that would be so annoyingly unfinished and yet you know for folks that are outside of game pass like i would have been furious had i paid full price for that game you know one thing i really like about game pass uh sometimes i do feel like i don't utilize it as much as i should but i do really like the fact that if i'm playing a game on game pass and i decide i don't like it there's it's i don't feel like i've wasted any money i feel like i've got a nice trial i can play it for as long as i like and something like um Wolong, I think was the name of it. Uh, I tried Remnant 2. There's a bunch of stuff that I was trying to get into and I just I just couldn't get into it. And um, 
I don't feel bad. Like it's it's nice to have that. It's nice to have access and not have to like wonder whether you're going to be dropping eighty dollars on a game that you're going to like or not like. It's it's nice that way. We are going to have to fill that space, I think. I'm going to try to work in this area here when I actually get to building. I'm trying to leave that part clear. the right number of those yep Let me just transition right into these Uh, do you know how to use the toast message from Streamlabs? Yesterday was my renewal, and I've clicked the use button, but nothing happened yesterday nor today. Am I missing something? Um, I actually am not sure. Uh, it should be a, it shouldn't be a a, a button in Streamlabs. I think it's a button in Twitch. Or no, I guess it would be in Streamlabs. No special guest appearance for me today, but a quick hi bye, Cosmic flyby. Have a great stream. Thanks very much, Cosmic. If you're still here, do you know how to use the toast? Because I think you you use it on your monthly resub. Well then, I'm out of here. Says Mixed Gun. Tech trouble. Yeah, I, you probably missed the start of the stream, but um, the Citadel server is down because Shockbyte screwed up the migration that I didn't ask for. Apparently, something happened. They said it was legislation. I don't know what's going on, but they were moving the Citadel to a new control panel in the process of doing that. I don't know why, but it involved moving uh, the physical location of the server to someplace different, and they screwed up. And they tried to roll us back to 1.20.4, but of course, all the mods and everything else on the server that I did all the work for this week is set up for 1.21. And so the server just doesn't start. And uh, I have updated, according to the control panel, the server to 1.21 on the new control panel, but the control panel is saying that it's 1.21, but the server log is saying it's not. So. I really don't know what to do. 
I don't know how to manually update the server, which is probably something I should figure out how to do. What was even more frustrating is sending a ticket to Shockbyte over a couple of days where they are obviously making a lot of migrations and they should be ready for some customer service. Um, I sent a ticket this morning at like 10 a.m. and it's been over three hours, almost four hours now, and I've not heard a peep. I'll check on my break because again, I was supposed to, I wanted to do a double stream today. I was really. I got the bug. I got bitten by the fix the iron farm bug yesterday. And I really wanted to try and finish that up. I'm going to try to move on because I'm going to be ranty if I keep on dwelling on the server woes. I do find it more often these days, though, that depending on the service that you are um, purchasing, very often, and this is not just for Minecraft servers, this is just for anything in general that's related to tech or service, I find that very often services, they have, they've got one job, like you're paying them to do one thing, and they seem to fail at the one thing that they're supposed to be good at, which is what the service is that you're trying to purchase. Uh, Grandpa Crafter says, Cosmic says, no sound for me. Not sure if Joel helped with your query, but if not, we have some instructions, right? Uh, many moons go on how to use it. Oh, cool. Thanks, Cosmic. Super fast. Thanks for the lurk and the unlurk. Welcome in. Glad it's Lego day. Yeah. But I mean, like I still have to, uh, still have to stream tomorrow and I'd rather have that not be something I have to worry about tomorrow morning. Cause I've got to do a podcast tomorrow morning with pixel race. We are now on to the start of the North tower. And this is going to be interesting. And light gray. Doing this without a base plate is really challenging. This one goes there. I might have enough room. Oh, those are the wrong color. I might use this dirty one on the inside. Hide it away. This is light bluish gray. And then I can't tell if they're different. And that one. Just enough space.
Uh, super fast says I'm sad to be missing the podcast recording tomorrow. I have a wedding to go to, but we'll listen to the recording when it's up. Well, wedding sounds like more fun than a podcast about download numbers. But I appreciate that you're looking forward to the um to the extra podcast. For folks that are wondering, uh, this is the um quarterly hangout for the spawn chunks. We uh, take note of the downloads and YouTube metrics, and we talk to our patrons, who are essentially like our bosses, about how the show is doing, plans for the future, all that kind of stuff. It's a very unique layout from the base of this. I imagine this is going to come together quick once we get it going. I think that's everything. Just need four of these regular guys. One of the dark gray. Two. Light blue. And nine, three, six, nine. Well, that won't get connected to the next level, I guess. These are going to be in the corners. That this goes here. That Uh, do you know if light emitting blocks add any lag to Minecraft? Uh, light changing blocks would? Anything that would cause a block update. If it's a light emitting block like a mushroom light, uh, what's it, what are they called? Mushroom, what are them? Shroom, shroom lights. If it's a shroom light, then it'll lag when you put it down. But it won't lag consistently. However, if it was like a blinking redstone light or a blinking redstone torch, then yes. 
can potentially add some lag. Because the block lights around it are constantly being updated. I can't think of a light source in Minecraft that doesn't update block light. But someone can correct me if I'm wrong, I'm sure. I'm going to pick this list and then I'm going to take a break the first hour. Okay, uh, as per usual, I'm going to take my first break. If you're new to the stream, I do this about once an hour. It gives me an opportunity to step away, reheat the coffee, grab a drink of water, all that kind of stuff. You should too. Grab a snack, grab a friend, let them know that we're streaming, and I'll be back in about five or six minutes.
Gamer Jame, hello. Welcome in. It's going all right. It's going all right. We are in the process of layering this next section of the build up. Maybe this will get it all into one piece. I'm getting close. Once I get it all to one piece, I'll squish it all down, make sure all the connections are tight. Yeah, I think it will get there. Hey, look at that. All one piece. Things will be a little, a little bit easier now. Make sure everything's nice and tight. Go. Mad Jacoby, hello. Ah, another four of those, surprise. Probably be taking from the bottom. Give myself some more room. Now that we have something firm to press against, it'll go a lot smoother. That's obviously the back door. Or that's actually connected to a different building. So there might have been some creative freedoms taken. We'll find out when we get there. Super Bowl, currently driving to Nova Scotia to visit family. That's awesome. Welcome to 100% humidity. This gets flipped around. We've got two of these. Did the pick list call for, I think the pick list only called for one of those, but I could be wrong.
Let's go on the sides. Can't tell whether those are red brown or not. Grandpa Crafter, can you confirm whether those are supposed to be red brown and I just missed them in the pick list? Yeah, I think they are. I think they are. Because I definitely see two in the pick list and I just missed them. Cool, thank you. All right, and then we've got these two pieces, two of these. And this, plus one on the bottom. Makes a little overhang over the door. And then we've got these, which will never stay on. The other ones keep on falling off too. Stupid media buttons don't work. I don't understand the process of having a media button on a Steam Deck if it doesn't do the whole computer. Like the last program that was highlighted was OBS, and even though I'm listening to music, it just decides to ignore what I want to do. Now, where does these go stacked up underneath. Like a so. four of these seven and four
No, I can't see. Three, four, and three. Oh, this is wrong. That makes sense. Yeah, she builds up fast. Once you get the, the finicky bottom part laid out, then it really comes together quite quickly. Trying not to shake the whole table. Some satisfying Lego squeaks. Oh, darn it. Probably wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, getting there. It's so funny, you know, I've mentioned this a couple of times on stream, but the, the shift from building vehicles in um, IPs like Star Wars or something specific like the, the DeLorean from Back to the Future, there's a lot of plates, a lot of like layers of plates. And um, when you build buildings, they, they go vertical quite quickly. The only building I think we've done on stream is the lighthouse. Remember Optimus Prime was just like tons and tons of plates layered very specifically together. Well, we know where the corner pieces go. I 
This really does give that brick layered feeling that you try to get in Minecraft when you try to texture stuff. And I guess it's also the the texture of the of the stone brick block in Minecraft as well. Matto, hello, good to see you. Might have something to do with the fact that most houses are just big boxes, says Matto. Yeah, no, that's fair. I've never done any of the Lego um, modular builds, the, the, the modular builds that are meant to um, meant to uh, Go like go on plates. They go on very specific plates. But most of the time, I like they're neat. But like I just I don't have the room. These are four corners. The last dark gray bit. This always brings back some memories of the very first time I played Minecraft. Soundtrack. Word Nerdify, hello, hello, welcome in. I wonder what that is. Connection of the roof, I guess, of the next building. I lucked out and a lot of the pieces that are a little bit dirty, they've got like one side that's dirty and the other side that's clean. So I can just face the, the dirty side of the inside of the build. 61. Four of these, you don't say. And there should be 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Good stuff. We have done our job.
It's crazy when you think about how precise Lego pieces have to be made because there has to be just that little bit of like it's like a half millimeter wiggle room between the pieces so that you're not really sliding up against the different pieces hard. It's not difficult to put things together when they're right next to one another. And now we attach. And it looks like it goes that way. I'm going to turn it. Well, I guess we'll do it this way. So it goes there. I don't exactly know how we do this. I think that this has to come off, I think. That goes like that. This connects in there. And now, I mean, it's not quite stable, but it will be. And it will get wider. That is a, not a small piece of kit. Obviously it sags a little bit when you don't have it on the ground, but I'm sure that will all get firmed up with the other pieces that are coming over the next couple of weeks. And I would say the next phase is going to be Path timber levels. Oh, cool. So we'll be doing some white and timber next time. That'll be fun change of pace. Nice. Well, folks, uh, that is where I have to wrap it up because uh, my plan to stream Minecraft this afternoon has been thwarted. Has been uh, thwarted. I can't even speak. Has been thwarted by Shockbite. So stay tuned in the Discord and on Twitter for whether or not I am able to stream from Minecraft tomorrow. If we can't get the Citadel server back up tomorrow, I may have to come up with a different plan. You can, of course, listen to the Sponge Chunks podcast and the Citadel Cafe podcasts on your favorite podcast app. Uh, that's actually what I'm going to go do now since I can't stream anymore uh, from Minecraft. I'm going to edit the latest episode of the Citadel Cafe where we talked about Deadpool and Wolverine. Should be a really fun edit. You can follow on social media, Joel Duggan, very easy to find. And of course, check out things like um, the uh, Patreon page and the Joel Duggan VODs YouTube channel. Patreon is a great way to support your favorite creators. And uh, it's less than the price of a cup of coffee a month. Keeps me streaming and allows you to get in on the Discord. You don't have to worry about Twitch or Twitch pricing. The Patreon is a lot more affordable. And uh, then on the VODs, Everything that I do is archived on Joel Duggan VODs on YouTube. So if you've missed a stream, if you want to go back and catch up on the Citadel and see what we've been up to, then you can go and check that out on YouTube. Really appreciate it, folks. I'm going to try to pass you along to somebody playing Minecraft. We'll see who's around this afternoon. Barring that, I will be back tomorrow at 1 o'clock Atlantic. Fingers crossed that we have a server by then. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.